Obviously, as you can see, it is a very crowded midterm, and there's no win at all, yeah. except for your ones up top, but you can't really do much going out here at all. Um, your midfield, <coughs> if your midfield gets beat high up the field, then your defense is really vulnerable because you don't have much back. And then it's hard to possess in the back and in the midfield because of how crowded it is, and it's kind of hard to get to the outside. And then the possession in the back is difficult because um, you don't have much width. Because yeah, like, you know, like the outside all. backs can go as far as they can to flat back because you know you have that stumper sweeper. Yeah. Okay. If the situation were um, like if you had a flat back four as opposed to like a stopper sweeper, mm -hmm. then your outside defenders would be able to move like forward right. into the outside positions a lot more freely. Yeah. So in this situation, like who acts as the outside midfielders? Just your okay. Well, so the way we thought about it was that. that obviously these players would have to come back and yeah, the ball to play the there. Check. But if Say one of your outside backs wants to go forward, your stopper is going to have to come back <coughs> and cover for them. So then it becomes like three and not yeah. Like yeah. And, and everyone just has to rotate together in order for the backs to go up, okay. which can't happen. But yeah. it's not encouraged. So it's about communication. Oh gosh. Well, okay, this is a lot uh, because not <laughs> just summarize honestly. Okay, so first, um, the reason we had a dime back was mostly to um, describe what the sweeper and stopper do in their positions. So. A sweeper needs to be smart, fast, skilled, and comfortable with their ability. They are the last line of defense, and they make little to no offensive runs. Um, they must back up the other three at all times, and they have to control the back. That's, that is one of their main jobs. Um, they need to be able to clear the ball, send the ball to open space for the forwards, and in this, that works really well in this formation um, because you have so much up top and you don't have any width, so you've got to get it up, and you kind of have to back, bypass the midfield a lot. Um, and then... Um, control the other defenders and then stop breakaways obviously from happening by like not you can't dive in as a center back you have to slow it down so that your backs can so everyone else can get back to help you um, and help the goalie again with um, setting up defensive situations okay and then the stopper they must be consistent and if they're beat unexpectedly it leaves only the sweeper to defend and that can cause an easy breakaway and this player's role is to simply stop attacks from happening and she is to take the opposing team off the ball and distribute it. Um, she is to win possession of the ball and get it to <coughs> the other player on the team and must fall back if, outside, if the outside backs go up. And then the fullbacks, um, again, they can go up, but they, they can really be <coughs> offensive minded. But in this formation, it's really difficult to do because if one goes up, if someone's not paying attention or, again, like the center back doesn't tell someone to come back, then you're way down in, in your back line. Um, they can carry it down the side line and look to get crosses, but again, in this case, it's very important to have speedy outside back, out, to have outside fullbacks, because if they're up, they have got to get back, because you don't have a midfielder to get back for them. So that's really important. Okay, the midfield. When playing this variety of fourth and three, the midfielders have to win balls out of the air, because, I mean, I don't see why you can't just sort of stay in the middle. And then if they don't, they leave the defense very vulnerable. And since the middle is crowded, they must spread out and combine with the forwards. That's really important. And then they can lay balls off to the stopper or other defenders to play long balls. But then they kind of have to like spread out because there's no outside mids. So, um, they must always be moving off the ball, especially when playing back to the defenders. And then the forwards in this formation, they have to check back to receive the ball because if, if you're trying to go through the midfield at all, it's going to be really difficult because it is so crowded. So they're going to have to get back to help out. And then um, when the ball gets played up, they have to be back to receive it. Um, they have to be able to receive it and have to be able to control it when they receive it in order to turn and to get numbers up. Um, they look for combinations with the midfielders, like Rachel said, um, like a draw back, turn, then go. Like, like uh, that was too much time. <laughs> um, then, there's a lot of direct play because it is, since the midfield is so crowded, they have to bypass the midfield a lot, the defenders do. So they play it up to the forwards, which is obviously direct. And then they must track back on the outside since there are no outside midfielders. Okay, this is a different one. As you can see, there's a flat midfield, which that means the defense, or the midfield is not very crowded and there's only one central midfield. Yes. 
Okay, just because I wasn't actually paying attention. <laughs> three fours, like in the midfield, when we're playing, if they're playing like in the diamond, will one of them be like forward and the other two be like kind of defensive midfielders or not really? The midfielders. So like if we are playing with a three, you'd have two attack and one defensive. Okay. Good. Okay, obviously there's now width, okay, and it's not crowded in the midfield. It's easier to possess in the midfield. Um, there's a lot of, there's still depth in the back because of that sweeper. Um, easy for outside backs to get involved because then now the outside backs can like come back and cover for them and there wasn't any outside backs in the other one. And um, there's still overwhelming numbers in the offense. Weaknesses is that now, are that now that you have width, you do not have as many numbers in the middle and you leave your middle more vulnerable. Um, it's again still difficult possession in the back because you don't have width in the back, but Something else we put in the strengths is that having your outsides, it's easier to possess out, but in the defense, it's hard to possess still. Um, less central midfields for the forwards to play back to. So in before, it was easier to play back to your centers and then go out with it. It's more like you have to play it to the outsides instead of to the center. Um, outside forwards and midfielders can invade on each other's space because you've got two sets of people on the outside there. <coughs> okay, the so sequence stopper, they have the same responsibilities as the other formation, the same formation but different midfield. Um, the fullbacks is that they are more free to move, like I said, because those outside backs can come back. And then the forwards remain mostly the same, but, but less checking from the outside forwards, more tracking back in the middle. And then, wait, is this me? I don't know. Okay, well, um, the midfield responsibilities change because the whole midfield changed. Um, on the outside, they obviously have to do a lot of running. Um, they must support the forwards in front of them and the defenders behind them. Um, they're the ones who cross the ball, and if a, de if, an, if a defender comes up, they have to track back. And obviously, they need to support the central midfielders. Um, the central midfielders, should everything should really work through that person. Um, they were responsible for switching the, the field of play from side to side. Setting up forwards for shots, winning all 50-50 balls, and playing great defense. So pretty much they have to do a lot of work in the center by themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, Katie. So, um, after having closely examined these two formations, we feel that using a combination of the two for our team would work best because if we took um, the triangle and the outsides, just giving the midfielders responsibility of getting out if they need to, obviously, and uh, we think that if it was a flat back four, it would work better yeah. than a diamond. Yeah, we don't like this. We had very it was very happens. difficult, and there was so a lot of weaknesses. What? What? Playing with the four three three. We felt it was very difficult. I agree. Go yeah, yes, Sarah. Sarah. Was the first question of yours like, was that flat back four? Did you guys not have? No, we still have. No, we still have. Yeah. That. Yeah. Still diamond, and it just kind of made things difficult. So how would you combine them? Why? Okay, so it would pretty much look like this. It would pretty much look like this still, except all of these players would have the responsibility of if the ball is out here, it's their responsibility. Instead of making it these people's responsibility. Yeah. So basically there are still three forwards? <coughs> yes, yeah. there would still be three forwards. And everything would still it pretty much be the same way of play, except these players would have the responsibility of also coming out to the sides. I've heard us. coaches explain explain this way before, where those three midfielders <coughs> don't have a position. They yeah, they need to go work. wherever they need to go. All right, does that sound familiar? All right, it, and that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted y'all to do this. Is there's different ways to do this. All right, um, so I, it's been told before with these three central midfielders. They went everywhere. And, you know, the person, even though you're on the right hand side, may end up over on the left and vice versa. So it'll work if you got enough uh, fit central mint voters. Yeah. So even if you have like four, in, like a flat back four in the back, your outside defenders, like, there still wouldn't be any, or if you played like with the triangle three in the middle, you still wouldn't have anyone like wide. Yeah, but so it'd be look. easier for the outside backs to go up. Okay. Because you would have, it wouldn't be leaving your defensive so line as vulnerable. There's many premiership teams that play 
this way except with the pipe board because they're outside outside the fenders. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, okay, we're done. That was a tough one, just so y'all know that.